Welcome back to my next episode of Things That I Talk About, which this is actually the first because I haven't done this in a while, and I'm sorry, you guys out there. So, yes, here we go again. So I got this idea from a friend of mine who did a episode where she just talked about things you may not know about your period. And well, I don't have to worry about it, thank God, but it was still fairly informational, little creepy, and but funny and cool. And you should really check out her stuff. Her name is Abby so-and-so. Yeah, click the link and go check out her stuff after this. Don't go yet. Today, I am going to be talking about what I am going to title The User's Guide to the Male Bits. Basically, I'm going to tell you things that you may or may not know about uh, the male downstairs area. Both for guys and girls, because I know there are things that girls don't know, but there are surprisingly some things that you just are never told at all about when you're kind of growing up finding out what's going on down there. It just, none of this is ever explained to you. So I would like to explain those things. First thing I want to talk about is sitting on your balls. Dear God, does it hurt? And it doesn't happen all the time. You may go a lot of your life with never sitting on your balls, but then just one or two times in your life, you just sit down wrong, they're just hanging the wrong way, and you squish one and or both. I'm sure it's happened, but yeah, it's the most uncomfortable thing besides maybe being kicked in the balls or eating, you know, some major crap on a bike. Anyways, watch out for that. It's just, you know, you never know when it's going to happen. Another thing is the zipper. I know probably most of you guys know this, and it same as sitting on your balls, it only happens maybe once or twice in your life, and you learn your lesson. Like, you know every time you go to zip up after you go to the bathroom, it's you just make sure that shit is tucked in because it is one of the most painful things to just nip it just a little bit. I think most of you can learn this <laughs> really early on in life, and then maybe halfway through your life you forget about it and you're just not paying attention one day and I think you're pretty much set for the rest of your life after that. Your balls getting stuck to your leg. It happens. I heard it once in a movie where some guy said it was the hottest day and his balls were stuck to his leg like silly putties. Uh, anyways, yes, it can get so warm and just humid down there, especially if you are wearing boxers or no boxers. But when you're doing these other things, you've been sitting in a hot car or whatever, and you get up and you try to get out of the car and there's just this glob of, of flesh stuck on flesh. And you just, you kind of end up doing this like weird little dance and try and pull them apart. And it's probably really embarrassing to get caught doing that. I'm pretty sure I've had people just give me that look of just like, what the fuck are you doing? Just my ball stuck to my leg. It's You weren't told about this as a little kid, except for that one movie when I first heard it. So watch out for that. One of probably the most useful skills, and everybody probably has their own different ways of hiding uh, the unsightly or offensive, as some people think it as, uh, the boner that nobody apparently wants to see or everybody will laugh at you at because you poor kids are still in high school and uh, trust me it gets better and people are more appreciative of it. But yes, when you have one and you are having problems with it, it's almost just like scratching your balls or trying to pull your balls off your leg, but you pretty much just like kind of flip it up under your belt or if you're wearing 
boxes of briefs, just put it up into the waistband of it and it just holds it there. And if you like have longer shirts, usually don't wear tucked in shirts. It's a dead giveaway, honestly. Having shirts that aren't tucked in are gonna save you so much on this. Trust me, it will. Like you will, nobody will ever see it. It will, like, you will never be embarrassed ever if you take this piece of advice. It could be embarrassing. I mean, just don't be embarrassed about it, honestly. That's probably the biggest piece of advice about that. Don't be embarrassed about it. It's a natural fucking thing. Just, you know, be proud. Be like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You like what you see? I mean, be careful where you do that. You're going to get in some you can get in some deep shit for that, but... Huh. Another thing that pretty much nobody has told you about, I'm pretty sure, or maybe they have, but it's for you coming into later teens, early adults, about the time you're having sex. Hopefully you're not having sex too soon. Hopefully you're not having sex too late. Ha! Ah, but it's bound to happen. Uh, the one thing you need to watch out for, I think, is one of the biggest concerns. We call it the double stream, sometimes the triple stream. Anyways, what happens is after sex, if you do not go to the bathroom right away, it kind of just gets stuck together in some little ways, and then you end up pissing two different streams, and they're going in completely different directions. One may end up going where you think it's going, the other one, and possibly two, I don't know. You guys should tell me if, if you've seen more than three, because I've only seen three myself, but they'll just go wherever they want and you gotta watch out for that especially if you're at somebody else's house or you live with roommates uh it'll make a mess and if you don't clean it up then <laughs> the helicopter i was asked recently why do guys like to do the helicopter with their you know if you don't know then you should know and you should ask a friend because i'm betting they know but anyways they asked me why do guys like to do the helicopter and it's because we can, honestly. It's because, it, what's more fun than doing the helicopter, coming in after you've taken a shower, whipping the towel open, and being just like, hey, hey, honey, check it out. Helicopter, whoop, whoop, whoop. Seriously, it's because we can. There's, why would you, there's no other reason. Do you ever get caught just scratching your balls? I have been asked so many times since I was even a kid. Why do guys always grab their balls or scratch their balls? Well, it's because they itch. Plain and simple. Hopefully it's not like the bad itch where something bad is happening and you should probably get that checked out. If it is, if it's not like a normal itch, uh, maybe get that checked out. Maybe. Speaking of scratching balls, there is a technique called the pinch and roll and you basically grab the itchy spot, you pinch, and you kind of roll it a little bit, and it usually takes care of the itch. It works. It's tried, tested, and true. And if you don't believe me, ask an adult not to do it for you. Last but not least is morning wood. I have been asked many, 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 many times why we have wood in the morning. Why is it even called morning wood? I actually don't know why it's called morning wood except for some people says I've got wood and it's in the morning is my best guess for that. But the reason men get morning wood is not always because they're horny in the morning and yes that seems to be a confusion with a lot of girls out there that I've ever met. But the reason is is because in the morning just like most normal people, especially maybe after a night of drinking or you just drink a lot of water in general or whatever it is, you usually have to do what in the morning? That's right, pee. You have to pee in the morning. And that is our natural way of keeping us from peeing ourselves in the middle of the night while we're sleeping. And if you don't already know, know this, is it's really hard to pee with a boner. It really is, it's really, it's really hard. I'll let you figure that one out on your own because there are many techniques, I'm sure. And, uh, I don't know. Good luck. 
Thank you for watching. Please like or comment on this video. Uh, share it if you think that anybody out there needs to know this stuff because it's pretty important stuff. Also, subscribe. You can subscribe right here if you're not already subscribed. Uh, and, you know, just kind of share the love. Tell me what else what you would like to, me, to hear me talk about because um, I don't always have subjects. Sometimes I'll just rant and rave, I'm sure. But I am actually doing this... Uh, I'm gonna try and do this every Friday. If I don't get the video out on Friday, I will have it out on Saturday. And honestly, if I can't do it every week, I will do it every other week, and I promise this time. So I hope to see you guys next time. Thank you again, and have fun.